Surface grinders, or offset grinders, are designed for big grinding tasks. The heavy hitters, you might say. Designed and used for covering large areas of grinding, such as welding burrs, old weld, paint, or other large jobs in a reasonable time frame. The first step in surface grinder pre-inspection is to check the attachment shaft for excessive runout or play. This is a way to quickly check the inner bearings for excessive wear. This wear can cause unnecessary vibration and lead to failure of the tool or catastrophic breakdown of the rock attachment. Next, check the venting on the tool for any accumulation of oil or debris that would need to be removed. Check all the handles and grips to be sure that they are firmly in place. If not, tighten them with a wrench. Check the female threaded end that is used to hook up the airline for any thread damage or other issues such as loose fittings. Note the labeling on the tool states that this tool is designed to handle up to 90 pounds of air pressure and can reach a maximum of 6,000 RPM. The rock attachment label reveals that it is rated for 7,200 RPM. This is an acceptable pairing because the rock attachment exceeds the capable RPMs of the surface grinder. After assuring that all of these items are in good working order, begin the assembly process of the parts needed for grinding. First, install the grinding rock cup holder, taking note that it does not thread on, but merely sits in place and is held there by the threaded grinding rock. Take care not to cross thread the grinding rock when attaching. It should start and thread on easily when screwing onto the shaft. Use a wrench designed to hold the large nut at the base of the threaded shaft and simply screw the grinding rock onto the shaft. At first, hand tighten, then reverse the process and hold the rock firmly and give the wrench a few taps with a hammer. By doing this, it locks the rock in place for use. Next, stand the grinder on the rock on a flat surface and give it a few spins to double check the bearings and look for excessive play on the tool. If the tool wobbles or does not spin freely, return it to the tool room for maintenance. Now, we are ready to attach the surface grinder to the airline by wrench tightening and readying for our grinding task. Remember the PM procedures outlined in the preceding videos. They include placing a few drops of oil into the threaded airline intake to lubricate the tool prior to use. This should be done daily and more often if under heavy use throughout the shift to ensure that the tool stays lubricated properly. And don't forget the airline inspection. Remember, always clamp or secure your material before performing any grinding. Now it's time to turn the airline valve on and begin our grinding operation. 